Ladies and gentlemen, this is the video where we will see Zernoski running. All right, I'm putting my foot down. I'm not waiting anymore. We're going to do it. And we're going to do it really early into the year, too. Okay? Because we have all the basic essentials that are required for Zernoski to function. All right? We've got power. We've got water. We've got uh, heating. We got access to food. We got access to clothing, meat, entertainment, culture, sports. Everything is there. And the only thing that's missing is, like, basically people. Okay? So, we've got, we, we do have some constructions that are not quite done, but they're not essential. So, I'm thinking probably April, we're going to bring people in. We're going to see all of the personal cars and stuff start running around through here. It's exciting times, okay? It's going to happen. Let's zoom out a little bit and see what our little city looks like now. All right? It's, it's pretty good. There's clearly some spots here for expansion, right? There's some spaces over there. We're going to build some stuff there. We've got basically bare technical service offices right there that we're going to have to uh, fill with some stuff. We got parking spaces ready to go for the meat industry, even though we're not probably not going to get the meat industry going very soon. We've got paved asphalt roads from that intersection right there that we just passed through all the way over to Charlevinsk. It's all 100% paved now, which is pretty nice. There's still some spots here where I would like to pave, but it is what it is. And uh, what this little truck is doing, it's bringing those tower cranes that we purchased, I don't know, like eight videos ago or something. Uh, we're bringing those tower cranes over to... Am I getting a crash in this game already? There it goes. Weird. I thought I was going to crash right there. That was... It, music cut out and everything. That was odd. Okay. So, cool. Anyway, we're bringing tower cranes over to this. All right? We want to get them... We want to get them running, okay? Because they are basically brand new. And we want to get them going. So, whenever this office goes to do something, we're now going to have tower cranes accessible by it. Not just road cranes. Okay? We've had road vehicles for a while. I think these are the excavators, actually. Yeah, these are excavators. Um, we've had road cranes available over there and stuff. So, now we're going to have tower cranes and stuff, too. What do we need in the future? Okay. Because people, we're good. We're going to bring it. I, I promise you this video will have people here uh, in the city. But what else do we need to build? We need to get sorted out with actually vehicles for the hospital would be a nice to, thing to have. Let's get like a few ambulances through here. Uh, we're going to want to have a helicopter. The helicopter pad is right here. And I don't want these big expensive ones. I want one of those little tiny M2s. I, I love those little top little helicopters are great i want to maybe see if i can't find the used one no i mean that one looks kind of cool it's only 2000 14 passengers it could be interesting to have these little tiny things going around right but it's 25 years old that's why it's 2000 bucks because it's 25 years old yeah honestly the stuff we can get out of this by breaking it down that might be worth it two thousand bucks this actually might be worth like you know scrapping i'm gonna actually gonna buy it just because of that 25 years old 83 percent. it's two thousand dollars and it's it's my us dollars instead of you know it's my nato money instead of the money that is accumulating rapidly <laughs> up at the top left corner um okay i think i can't get any m2s that's unfortunate do we have any m2s over in my construction office Okay, everything's at M10 here, which makes sense. I, I wouldn't expect anything else from that, so... Okay, we'll keep an eye out. I, I want those. Uh, I really do. But for now, the small town of Zernowski doesn't really need helicopters there. Uh, I don't think, anyway. The fire station, on the other hand, definitely needs something. And I think I'm willing to spend just to get it, right? I'm, will I'm willing to, to do what needs to be done. To make sure that this place is good. Because this is also going to be protecting our farms and stuff too. So I think I'm on a brand new M10 helicopter over here. With it's 4797 liter bucket. Seems pretty dang good. You can't do the cargo stuff. And so I pro I might want to look into just getting the cargo one anyway. Just because it's more expensive. Uh, sorry. It's the same price. But it's more capable later on. Right? I can move it to another office later. So I think I'm going to spend that money. We have we have the cash to do it, so I'm going to do it. So brand new helicopter over in that fire department. Okay. And then uh, finally, we'll just go ahead and grab like... I, don't, I need like a really fast little car. This one's not... I want the fastest. This one here. 
That's pretty fast. We'll get that one in here too. Okay. So all that stuff's coming from the border. Speaking of coming from the border, the car dealer has... Did we see buyers in the queue? Excuse me? All right. People over here really want to buy a car over there. Apparently. I'm not sure how long they'll stay in the queue, but we have these cars that were bought during the last video. I have no idea how much footage I showed in the last video because I'm recording this right afterwards. Okay. Shortly afterwards. Um, and there's just a lot of footage going on in the last video. We have 10 cars in here, a variety of assortments of styles, design, slash, colors, etc. And uh, people can go over and get those. But we also could have cars over here too. And we're going to have to start getting them funneling in here. So I think in these small little parking lots, I'm going to place, I think, like some of these F-126s. All right. They're, they're pretty small. It's the, everything is four passengers anyway. But these things here, they're the cheapest. And I like the cheap ones. Okay. We also have this Ukraine one here. It can travel 145, but I don't really care about that too much. 95 is good. For our initial cars and stuff, so the setup is good. So one, two, let's do... Uh, yeah, we could probably... Let's mix it up a little bit. We'll do three and four on that one, okay? So four cars on that one. Come over to this one. We're going to say we want... Let's go one, two... Uh, let's do yellow ones. Three and four okay over to let's say this one over here we're gonna go one two as i don't want the expensive ones i want the cheaper ones here three uh four all right we'll just keep going and adding a few cars in each one of these lots okay it's gonna take them a while to get here that's why we're doing it now uh because they need to go and refuel and stuff and so there's limited fuel supply and there's you know limited space in the parking lots and stuff so I want them to kind of just get here and hold up. And then once people start moving in, we're good to go. As for the people, because of our trash issues, combined with lots of escapes from people not having consistent jobs and stuff, get them coming in. Ooh, green car. I like that. Grab a couple of those green ones. Because we have this, I want to say, employment issue, right? in Charlevinsk and everything and, and with the steel plant and all that those unemployed they get a little annoyed which makes sense and they leave so we've had a lot of escapes and we've had obviously somebody has deaths too it did I did have a pandemic during that whole uh sequence that I was going with earlier but it uh it's caused us to have to probably re reinvite some people and I think I'm okay with it it's it's kind of whatever Right? We can invite people. It's fine. And I'm kind of buying fast ones, too. I just bought one of these. So maybe we'll buy a couple of these Ukraine ones here. Why not? Let's do orange. Orange car there. And then we'll have another, like, and I'll have a bunch of these Ukraine cars here. Let's do one, two, three, four. Okay? So this gives us some personal cars that will sit in here. All right? And they are available now for our citizens to use when we bring them in which we're gonna have to do with like the actual invite citizens right now i could go through each one of these parking lots and do that but these guys are also going to want to buy cars too so they're going to get on a bus that we're going to have set up which that's going to require this building to get done the road is done cool and they've also started the road depot good so this road depot is where i'm going to sort of get my new vehicles going and move them around and like custom routes and stuff with the buses I need to get that happening too and then we have a repair station here. Repair station is going to cover the road depot as well as the hospital. We're going to put another small repair station over here. I haven't actually placed that yet, so let's do that. Another small repair station over here. And I feel like I want a parking lot right there. So if I take, like, say, a large, big lot with optimized traffic, and we just do something like this, uh, I'm thinking probably right here would be okay scoot it over just a little bit maybe right here if we do something like this let's have this road come back like this and then we'll have the uh, repair station small repair station is fine i want you to be right about here don't get in the way too much of the sewage which but right about here would be good it doesn't cover parking lots right 
these repair stations don't cover parking lots. But the goal is to get it in range of that fire station as far back as I can. So right about there, I guess, would work. All right. So that gives us another another repair center. Many little repair centers are going to be fine with this. We don't need a, a giant one, like a single giant one. Remember, everything is so spread out. We need to make sure that we spread out too. And so as we have vehicles originating in many different locations, we want to make sure that we're repairing those okay. And of course, having many different places means that there's availability to repair things, even if one place is maybe a little light on employment for some reason. A lot of these places are going to be light on employment. Almost every building in this entire area is going to be under 100% workforce always just because of personal cars so that just means we need multiple sources of everything right so that we don't have one we're not completely reliant on one place with the exception of the heating plant that's how we have to do it the heating plant we could anyway uh i believe is it possible to tell them where to work in these parking lots i thought it was a i thought it was possible to tell them where they were allowed to work when parking at a certain place that may not be the case it doesn't look like that's the case, but we do have a bus stop here. So there is at least some mass transit into the heating place. Uh, and this bus stop can also go to the sewage uh, treatment plant as well. We don't have any buses going into the water treatment plant here, but I suppose I could probably get a bus stop that goes across this just to make sure we have constant people in the big water treatment plant. But this big treatment plant probably is going to be fine with the number of people with this going to be covering. It's probably fine with as, as little as three people working here for a long time. All right. So it'll be fine. Uh, what else needs done? I, I'm just kind of trying to walk through things while I run time ahead, right? Normal speed, faster speed, whatever. I'm trying to run time ahead here. All these cars are there ready to go. I think most of them, they're all going to need to refuel. It looks like people are the ones that have to go out and refuel them. Great. Okay. Well... That means we'll just have to bring them in in waves. We'll have to let people move in in waves and not let them all move in at once. That's going to be a formula for disaster if everybody moves in at once. Let's get a few cars over here too. We'll go with like a couple of these yellow ones, a blue one, a yellow one. Uh, do a couple of blue ones here. Maybe this color. Maybe we come over to these Ukraine ones. Add a couple of these. Ooh, blue. I like that. Let's switch over here. Try the that light, that dark blue right there. I like that couple of yellow ones orange ones switch back to the first page All right and we're just going to kind of give a variety of cars i want to see a whole bunch of different people and different you know variety of personalities and such coming through here should be pretty good there we go all right that should be good for now we just want to make sure that the people who are living in here everyone gets a car and then as we open up these houses we'll start adding cars through there too now i did say but they're going to want to buy their own car. And you can see that some of these houses actually have the ability to buy their own car. So maybe what I should do is have these ones up front not have any vehicles and have them situated over there. And then the people who live up here can go buy them if they need them. That might be a way to do it too. And I can do that easily just by changing the workplace of all of these vehicles. Just say, hey, all of you guys go there. All of you guys go here. Let's say all of these cars come over here let's have all of these ones come on over to here right and that's a really easy thing to do just to kind of keep this game moving along and now the people can walk out these guys can walk over and buy their own car if they want to right i'm not sure what's up with all the buyers in the queue but hopefully they switch out hopefully they don't stay in the queue for a long time i'm hoping that they uh you know get replaced by people who actually need them right now, the car dealer, once it runs out of cars, am I supposed to just buy them here and have them come directly here individually? Well, mm, no. Now, that's how we're starting, right? We're buying them individually. We're importing them individually. But as we get the manufacturing up here up and running, we're going to start to produce our own. They're going to start getting into here. And once they're sitting in here, the trains can pick them up and take them around our Republic. We can then have our own locally produced vehicles driving around for that to happen though we need a place for the train to deliver the cars and i think probably where that could be is right here i think this is an okay spot for all of zernoski to be served with cars if we just have it drop off right over in this area so if i was to do this i believe we could take 
And I'm going to have to uh, probably go to General Cargo. Space for vehicles, containers, large. Here it is. I'm going to have to bring it over to about like this. Like right up against this farm. Which is perfectly acceptable to me. I'm all right with that. And yeah, like right about there would be okay. But we need to make sure there's enough room for that train so that it doesn't interfere with any of the other trains. So I think I actually want to put it right about here. It seems okay to me. So we'll place it there, right? But now we'll do it as a dirt, as a mud road. And then for this rail, same intersection, right? Everything is the same intersection. So it just comes out, does that real easy like right and then it follows around this little area and pops in right there that's pretty easy right no big deal and the distance that we need here for this to make sure that the trains don't get in the way right we're well within that 150 right well within that so they'll come in drop it off and then they leave and they go back the other direction which is a two-way track here anyway so we'll go ahead and mark that in. And then we just want to place the signal, which would be a mixed signal. And it would be probably about right there, right? Easy peasy. So when we build this, this is where our trains can go ahead and deliver that stuff. I think that's pretty nice. Now that the snow is gone, we can really take a look at some of this other stuff, including this intersection, which is completely done now. And because it's completely done now, we can now make our one-way roads. So let's see what this looks like when it's fully painted as one-way roads as it's destined to be. Now, they have changed this game a little bit since I started playing. They've had an update, or at least they're about to have an update. They had a dev log, I guess. I don't know if the update's here yet. Um, but it's gonna change a little bit about how roads are done with construction. It should make the approach that I just implemented, where I did it incrementally, it should make that a little more friendly. And, uh, I don't exactly remember how it works. It has something to do with walking paths and how walking paths will create nodes like this, but the construction projects around those walking path nodes can be combined into a single project. Uh, so like these little stints right here, it's not like if I was building this little thing, the construction vehicles are gonna focus only on that little zone until it's done and then go this way. They can do, they'll be able to do both of them as if it's the one job. And, uh, and that's good. I believe that only impacts where walking paths cross roads, not where roads cross each other. I believe that's how that works. So, like all these little tiny segments here, it's a little annoying to have to paint them one way, but that's just the way it goes, man. That's, that's the game. Uh, okay. So that takes care of the one ways in this way. We want to go like that too, right? This already has it uh, all the way out to here at least. So... I guess we could also paint this. We need to make this roundabout over here asphalt as well. We're going to do it. So we make that asphalt like that. Very close. Look at all these nice street lights. I'm loving it. Did I ever get all of these done? No, I, I thought I missed one. So this little segment here is not done yet, but most of this stuff is walking paths. And then we got this one, which is the main one. Almost nobody uses these ones. I still have to place some more fun stuff in the middle of these houses. And I would really like to upgrade these walking paths to have the streetlights, right? I built a couple with streetlights here around the football field. Um, but I think it would be nice to have all of them be streetlights kind of all through here. It looks really nice having all these lights and stuff where the, where the roads are. So I'm going to look at doing that too. Um, so over here, right? This is our highway. We want to make this one way as well. So let's go ahead and draw that how it's going to be pretty good all the way out that way that way that way and it beyond it just keeps going like that and then over like this there we go okay lots of stuff to do so i can just take care of the rest of this offline right i don't need to do that i mean i should have done the rest of this segment offline i probably will cut this out of the video or maybe i won't you know sometimes people don't fully appreciate just how much time this takes how much time does it take to create a, a thriving you know country in this game it takes a long time there's a lot of stuff going on that all has to go on at its own pace man uh there we go 
There we go. All the way up there and then down like that. This is for the people who are like, don't skip anything. This is for you. Okay. I did this for you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we'll have to also do this part here as well. Uh, underground and stuff. We'll take care of the tunnels and stuff as well. There we go. Okay. So for the most part, that's what our highway looks like with all the, the lanes and everything. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Of course, there's this tunnel here too to help them bypass this one so they don't have to go into the roundabout there because this will most likely continue this way too into this area. And uh, it's going to kind of be its own thing. I, mean, I might choose to merge it, but I'm, in general, I want people to be focused on moving through here and, and not focusing through here. So I don't believe I'm going to connect these highways, at least this road and this area isn't really going to be connected easily until you get like way over here, right? And then there's this road and then this road goes straight across like that and maybe some back roads and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to make like an asphalt connection between these two highways just because I don't need cars, you know, going around this or something. I mean, if, it, if it's advantageous for driving, like for example, maybe I just line this whole thing with parking lots and then put the residential areas over here and then the whole parking lots are over here. Well, then I don't really don't even need this. <laughs> um, but the reason why I didn't do that, okay, is because that would flood this and it would be very, very busy um, with people getting on and off at this part here instead of doing it at a junction. So um, you want to spread out where people get on the highway, basically is what I'm saying. All right. So I think we're ready. Yeah. Are we ready? I think we're ready. So I can start inviting people right through here. It's March 10th. Is March 10th too early? I think maybe March 10th is a little early. Uh, also, this helicopter. Wait, they brought that down? Huh? I bought one that was 25 years old. 83% wear and tear for two grand. You guys saw me do it. But this thing says it's 0.11 and 0%. What? Look at this one. All right, let's, let's take a look at this, right? 30 years old, 92% wear, only 1,200 bucks. I only spent 1200 bucks and they fixed it up and made it brand new. It doesn't seem right to me. <laughs> I think I found a bug which it, with the G31. Uh, regardless, though, we're going to put it into that hospital. You're going to you're going to work there. That's what I want from you. I mean, if I just got a hospital helicopter for a thousand bucks. Pretty insane, in my opinion, that's kind of nuts. Uh, you're, you're getting rehealed. So you're getting repaired. I have so many vehicles around the Republic right now that just have no access to repairs, right? Like, look at this guy over here. This he's damaged right too, too. And uh, right over, where is he? Right here. This cistern is just sitting in here. It's broken down. It can't go anywhere, right? It's just trying to, you know, manage the fuel and it doesn't even need to do that anymore because it should be part of this distribution office. This distribution office is now taking care of this job. So it doesn't really even need to do this anymore. So I want you to go to a lot somewhere and get fixed right here. Go, go to this lot, erase you from that line, make your way over to Charlebin's West and get yourself repaired. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, little helicopter running here, 0% wear and tear. And it's going to go get people now. It's getting people and it's going to bring them back to this hospital. There's no doctors here. That's a problem. We have no drinking water here. The temperature's too low. We need staff, all those things. So when that helicopter returns with a patient, they're going to have no doctors. So I guess now's the time. <laughs> I guess now is the time. So we're going to start by bringing people into here. We're going to bring smart ones. Okay, 12 people are, are living here now. We're going to go 12 people here. 12 people here, 12 people here, and they're all college educated and smart so that we can possibly get really good. Uh, yeah, we, we need, we need doctors and stuff. So we're going to go like that. Okay. Now the rest of these guys, we're going to bring them in standard like this. Okay. 
I'll just bring them all like this. And then we're going to allow citizens to move into the, into these buildings, of course, too. So we need to do all that as we do this, too. And then some of these buildings won't have people yet. We're going to allow people to just move in there on their own instead of paying for them. But we kind of... I needed to buy buy a few people. Yeah, I needed to, uh, to, to invite a few people just to really make sure that they ended up being really smart people that could help us. Okay. So now we have people here and we're going to start allowing people to move into Zernoski. It's happening, folks. Here it is. It's happening. All right. It's working. It's working. All right. Third world people is not what I wanted to click. That's not what I wanted to click. Fine. And now we have in people invited into here. Now, the first thing they do, right, is they're going to go off and they're going to find themselves a car and off they go. Hopefully to work. Hopefully to work in water. I hope anyway. We need people to work in water. Yeah, so they're going to park there. They're going to walk to the hospital, right? We're going to get doctors in here, staff in here. We need a lot of people in here, though. So we have to, like, basically fill this place up. I, I want to have... I need to have pretty much all these houses. Uh, I need to be full of people and, uh, you know, working. So let's get more smart people here. More immigrants there. Yep, just, just keep adding them in. Just keep paying for them. We have the cash to do this. And unfortunately, it has to be one building at a time. And we just need to turn them all on. Let me just click this box. Allow citizens to move in. I'm going to click this box everywhere. And I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've pretty much invited everybody in here. And checked all the boxes on every house. If I missed one, then I missed one. But... I think pretty much we have everybody over here now. So uh, we're up to 19,160 as our population. And we should have a decent amount of staff, teachers, students, all that kind of stuff. We can bring the loyalty down to like 57 or something like that, I guess. Uh, the kindergarten is fine. Mixed waste is already flowing over here. So we need to get our technical service offices going. These guys are responsible for the waste collection. I have not done that yet, but I need to get that going. So we're going to have mostly the small container trucks uh, in this area. So if we could go into these trucks, where's the 10 ton ones? Did they ex they already time out. The nine tons appears to be the, the big one now. Okay, so we're going to say nine tons. We're just going to have let's do let's do the green ones. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's do five of these ones. We'll take two, maybe three. Yeah, we'll take two of these ones in here for now. We're also going to grab a sewage cistern. We want the big one. Let's go. Yeah, let's just take this one here. That's fine. And then we also want a water cistern. And that one's going to be the big truck here too. Water truck. Uh, or did I already... Oh, did I, did I have too many garbage trucks? It's fine. We have a second one here for that very reason. So uh, water is going to go to this side. Sewage goes to here. And let's see how many people are working there now. So, so far, nobody's working here. So there's no drinking water. Uh, drinking water, of course, is necessary for them. So they need to work here. And then uh, we also have this water well. We do have six people working here. But we need people to work in this building. So let's check it out and see what's going on there. Uh, so most people look like they are working in the hospital. Let's take the number of workers down to 10 here. Is there any way to prioritize a workplace? Like to say, hey, everybody, you should work here before everywhere else. You know, that'd be nice if I could somehow do that. It doesn't look like I can take care of that. It's just part of the freedom element of it. I want them to be able to go where they want to work, right? And that's the, whole, that's the whole part of this. But there is a limit on how much I will allow here. Let's directly connect that and see if that changes anything. I just need to work here so that everybody can get water. Because right now, nobody has water. So... If I was to grab a bus, I think that's what I'll do now. We'll have a bus, all right? We're going to have one of these buses. I've got two buses here waiting for this. And uh, we're going to go to this bus stop. We're going to load people here. It could be anyone. It doesn't matter. And then I want to drop you off in... Let's go another temporary bus stop. Let's drop you off, like, right over here, all right? Can I, can I do that, or is that not allowed? Where is... Yeah, I have plenty of these left, so... Uh, let's let's drop you off right here. We're gonna put a bus stop right between these two things. 
Like this. It's going to be dirt roads for now. Like that. And the whole goal of that is to get people to work in water. Because water is essential, right? So let's get you, bus stop, load workers, take workers, drop them off here. And you know what? I could, I could deal with regular passengers too. That's fine. You want to do regular passengers at that stop, then go for it. Right? I don't think you're going to fill it up anyway. So we'll have that route working. That should bring a whole bunch of people over here. That is, of course, if they are willing to work in this bus stop. So I do need some of these guys to work at the bus stop too. And we're going to have, let's say, 20% of you work at the bus stop. Um, this one here is free to go wherever they want. So we should now see people, I hope anyway, coming over here to wait at the bus stop. Now, right here is the main intersection that I knew was going to be a problem, okay? Everyone's going to use this intersection. So, we need to place a stoplight here and time these lights accordingly. So, I'm thinking, based on the traffic here, it does look like the cycle in this direction is more busy than the cycle of this direction, which makes complete sense. So, we're going to want cycle two. Let's make that be 20 seconds long. A little longer cycle on that. And we'll change we'll save the changes so this is going to free up the traffic in here a lot easier but you see we also have a, a considerable amount of people wanting to turn left here as well so if they're going to turn left they're going to have to wait till this traffic clears before they can do so which so far is fine but if if we are getting a lot of cars through here and we start getting a lot of people right th that's that's going to be a problem right if we start getting a lot of people through here make sure there's more cars available for these guys just kind of buy a few different ones here i don't really care make model i don't really mind uh let's right here we need a couple more do something like that and this one could use a few more like that is fine i bought a really expensive one there i guess uh this one could use some more cheaper ones okay so just get people the cars they need so they can move through here a little bit what I suspect we're going to need to do here is in a lot of intersections, they're going to uh, have like dedicated left turn cycles, right? So you have like everyone turning left, go now. And um, we don't really have that here. There's th that kind of functionality, that kind of control isn't available in the game, unfortunately. So that's not something I can do. I may end up making one ways. So this would be like a one way this way. This would be like a one way this way. I may start doing that in the future but that might create some problems in and of itself so we'll see if i can get away with just the yields you know just like everybody just minding their own business on these roads then cool but eventually that is going to be that is going to need to be worked out all right let me just check really quick make sure we got people working water so no workers here in water are we we are getting people getting on the bus right there's one worker on the bus other than that they are all right Tell you what, all of you guys work on the bus. This is a dedicated bus stop building. Everyone who lives here works at this bus stop. We will need some people to get on these bus just to make sure they absolutely are here. Okay. And then I think what we're going to do also is I'll go ahead and copy that route to my other bus. I was going to do something different with this bus, which is to bring them to heat because we have nobody working heat. Um, but I think what I'll end up doing is just getting two additional buses to do that. Yeah. It would be nice to see people working in heat, though. I just need more people. That's the thing. You need more people to, to make that happen. Otherwise, they're going to go off and, you know, they got to go to they, they go work at the school, for example. And you have kids in the classroom. You have people trying to get treated for their health issues. Uh, there's an Aussie sco stores working okay. So we got clothes and electronics offered here. I could probably go a little bit more that way with it to make sure that's happening um there's plenty of supply of these resources in here because while i've been building the distribution office has been doing its job so distribution office has been over here moving things around we got food in here from the trains so that's happening these guys are great uh let's maybe bring that yeah about like this would be better i think in that regard for sure uh, and then this warehouse here has resources as well including electronics delivered here uh food clothing etc is all here too with trucks that are ongoing bringing things around the Republic. There we go. And then let's make sure that we space this line out too. So we should have some dedicated people working here now. And 
that's what I need to see. I need to see the water treatment plant running. I need to see water accumulating in this tower. Now, it's not a big deal if we have certain times where the water treatment plant's not running. That's not a huge deal. There's not a lot of people here. And so they're not going to pull from this water tower very fast, right? It's all about scaling everything. Everything that you've seen over there is scaled down and way slower over here. It's kind of the nature of that small town. Everything, the world just kind of slows down over here, okay? And so if we get a big water tower like this that's completely full, that's not going to be a big deal. Uh, for industry buildings where there's more people working, uh, I don't remember if I... It did get it done. Okay, so the underground reservoir. That's what this is for, right? Underground reservoir is here. Um, let's take a look at that. So it goes through the pumps. There's another substation there. It goes all the way out. There's another substation out this way. Looks like they didn't quite get the plumbing done. It's very, very close. I was just thinking that these are, these are those projects that were getting worked on when we started recording, right? And so not quite done here, but we can start getting some water out this way. And then, hey, look, there's even a worker in the asphalt plant. We just need, uh, need bitumen to be delivered here. Why don't we do that? Why don't we get bitumen delivered here? Is that possible? I wonder. There's some bitumen here, which seems pretty good. We can go over to our root. Let's take one of these big cisterns. Like you, that's fine. We'll take one of these big cisterns and we're going to alter your root. We're going to say that instead of going to the customs house, you are instead going to drop off that bitumen all the way out here near... Where is it? I can see it over here, right there. You're going to drop it off there instead. Instead of going to the customs house, right? And then you just go unload your bitumen here. You can wait till unloaded. That's fine. Okay, so you're gonna take that 25 tons and you're just gonna carry on. So we're not gonna get that 58 gram, but that's okay. All right, that'll bring bitumen over here. Gravel is already here. And so now we'll have all these construction office being able to get their asphalt made here by people who are working here. At least every once in a while, they'll work here, right? Park in the parking lot and just go to work, right? Little, it's slow but it should at least start happening. Now, this is going to be an issue. We really need to make sure people are coming to the sewage treatment plant as well. So this bus route is going to be pretty important for that. So I am going to want to get, I think this bus is going to change it up here. Um, yeah, I think this bus is going to do something different. We are going to have this bus go to that building over there. All right, load on load. It's fine. Actually, in this case, it's just workers over here. Yeah, it's just workers. And then you're going to unload them here. All right. And then they can walk to these various different buildings on their own time. All right. So that's going to take care of... Uh, that's going to get going with that route, too. And then I think I want to go ahead and just have you guys maybe do that and then do that. So you're all going to work there. Now, can they reach this by walking? Uh, they can. So we could have like a couple of houses here, like maybe this house here. We could tell you to that you have to work here and here, right? Just to keep, just to make sure that six of these guys are always going to work in this well, right? Somebody's got to work in this well. So that's what we're going to make sure of. All right, just going to say maybe 50, I don't know, 60%. Somebody's got to work here all the time. And it's going to be these guys because they can walk there. So they really don't need cars necessarily, but some of these other houses that don't necessarily have the parking lots right next to them they could park their car here the game will do that i don't have to i don't have to do it the game's going to take care of that for me anyway uh and you can see they're already like moving their cars to different lots and everything too so you can start filling in the gaps as they go just start adding more vehicles in here there we go and if we can get this accounting office done i think that'd be pretty cool we don't have boards which is the only thing the helicopters can't yeah uh, so, helicopters have been building this, and apparently, oh no. I mean, that's not a problem, right? We could just use walking paths for this. We should be able to use just walking paths for this. But apparently, it's just helicopters, man. All right, we need helicopters to have access to boards. I'm thinking, maybe we put up a sawmill somewhere and just give it a helipad like i don't know could make a saw sawmill over in this area and just give it a helipad it's pretty far distance to get boards though probably better off putting it over here this is going to be way better as long as people can get to work there which they can't right when we start getting our own personal cars they can but up until then they can't 
Um, in fact, we could probably start buying some cars, right? Getting them to, to move around. Like, there's a parking lot here. I could maybe start introducing some vehicles in here just to kind of let some people drive around where they want to go. All right, we could give people some privilege here. There we go. There we go. Let's just give people a few cars in this lot. And so wherever they are, whoever they are, they probably live in the different Nipperio Flats. They'll be able to jump in a car here and they can drive basically to any of these parking lots and just go to work, okay? We're going to slowly start introducing cars to our traffic system to test it out and make sure that it's working okay, yeah? Um, but, like, how am I going to get... I thought for sure I could build this building. I didn't need the road connection. Like, if I knew I needed the road connection, I would have flipped it over because this could easily plug in right here. But I didn't think it was going to be needed. And so far, I think they, the helicopters took care of almost everything. So, I guess... Wait, is that going to be possible now? Oh, it's always been possible. It's just that they don't have access to boards. So I need to give them boards. Yeah, I need to give the helicopters boards. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to set up, I think, a little sawmill over here and just... Mm, it's really not what I wanted for this area. Uh, maybe I can get by with it over here. Like, they're already coming into work here, right? So maybe if I set up... Uh, I don't know. This is the, this is the part. The problem is, you know, we don't need to set it. Wait a minute. We don't need that. We don't need to set it up. All we need is, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about this? What about, uh, maybe over here even. What about this? We can just go with an open storage small. Why not just do this? And then we'll just have vehicles bring boards over here and stash them here. That gives the helicopters access to them, right? Yeah. That's all we need. We don't need the, a new production chain. We just need them to be able to connect to anything. So, like, this could be gravel, sure, but it can also be boards. And so we'll just get the distribution office to do that. And we'll bring these boards from here, full, and we'll just bring them over and... Uh, drop them off here then the helicopters will pick them up and once that happens then they can build this because this is our city hall and this city hall is going to tell me how people are doing here right that's the point they're going to tell me how people are doing here all right we're going to set up a stoplight here too because it looked like they were getting a little bit kind of stagnant there so we might need that these will all be lights eventually too but for now they can kind of yeah, we probably should set up lights here anyway. All right, let's do a lights. Let's do lights through here too. Uh, and actually, we want to add this intersection to the mix. And so, there we go. That'll solve that problem. And we probably should do the same thing over here, even though it's not that busy yet. Set up a, a simple light sequence over here as well. No big deal. Okay. So we have people working sewage. That's good. We don't have anybody working water, but our water towers are full. So it doesn't matter, right? We don't need to process things. We don't need to work here if our water tower is full and our reservoir is full. Yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, and then for the sewage treatment, right? We have internal tanks and stuff, of course. So we're going to send it to the discharge. And that's what's happening over here. Discharge is doing its thing. And the water coming out of here is like 88% or something, right? What is it? Desired water quality is 85. Okay. We're going to bring that down to 77. Maybe just 75. Okay. We don't need to bring it up to 88 or 85 because the water quality here is 77. So we're just going to dump it in around the same desired water quality or dump it around the same quality as what you already have here, right? That's what we're going to do. So everything's great there. As long as we have people work from the well every once in a while, water treatment every once in a while just to top off the water tower everyone in this community can continuously have great water so now we have problems with maybe ac accessing food every once in a while meat they should be able to go ahead and do those things the pub is right here they should be able to get to there now you've seen the mixed waste right 
we have to get rid of the waste here too so uh, what i want is for the mixed waste to go in there okay water is wait did i okay let's just change this you go there copy to there okay with that done the truck should now leave and go out and start picking up garbage wherever it can be there is going to be hazardous waste right from the hospitals and stuff there's gonna we're still gonna start seeing hazardous waste this is gonna need a light as well so let's get a light right oh i need to have yeah you can't put a light unless all roads okay no problem we'll just put a yield in this direction so that'll clear them out of here we're gonna have to make this a one-way this is gonna be a one-way road now so we're gonna say one way one way like this that'll solve the issue right away because now they're gonna go not to come around right so they'll end up doing it whipping a yui here we could probably let them go this way you know like let them come around like that but that's gonna solve that issue of traffic really quickly i might end up like i said i might end up having these two be one ways but again it's an extra it's an extra challenge right this needs to be paved in order for me to make that a light it's at least this part so i'm gonna say that right there is now a new project for our road office and uh we'll bring over cernakova labor for now all right so sewage treatment plants doing good just the buildings without drinking water because that little pipe's not done where's that little pipe at uh where's our it's all the way over here right there this this isn't done yet why isn't this done yet folks huh two work days you kidding me right now two work days and we can push water into this which lets us push water into this which lets us give water here that's all we need to do okay two freaking work days man in fact why don't i just tell you guys to do this can i can i tell the bus stop to do that no they won't do the pipes and stuff that's just not how it works all right so eating plants here and then and there's that so i think we're i think we're good here right you see police station right we have a functioning police station i believe there are vehicles in here i believe i purchased vehicles yep there's four vehicles in here uh we have hospitals we have the, the helicopter right water treatment fire coverage no firefighters admittedly that's a problem but we'll have to deal with that too um now we have waste collection over here and we do have some dedicated bio waste we do have some dedicated uh hazardous waste but remember these guys right the, we don't have anywhere to put it so i think any waste that isn't just mixed waste in general we're just going to send it to the border all right for now that's how we're going to do it it's including hazardous waste except for the biological waste biological waste we can send it over here and dump it into that place that's fine and then we'll copy that over to this one so now we have at least a way to go ahead to go ahead and pick up the other the other uh, sets of waste that are here we don't have a really good spot to put it yet but i'm thinking about like gravel right and i had this planned apparently they built it thanks helicopters uh <laughs> um, so what, what i think i was going to do here is you know have a couple parking lots maybe some people living over here would be a good idea too right because we're going to have houses everywhere i said so i mean i could also put a little neighborhood over here people could live here and i could just walk over to sewage treatment potentially even place a couple of people living over here in these houses and they can walk over to heat right it's perfectly acceptable people do that all the time in the country we do that all the time let's get like a few extra vehicles in here right uh one or two extra cars is going to be great uh we don't need extra parking spaces so there's a lot that's like super empty we can just start filling it up yep like that we're just going to keep doing that until all the lots have vehicles and they're they're full and then we're going to end up having probably more cars than can actually drive on the road all right so i need to watch these intersections to kind of get a feel for the timings that are necessary here all right 
So it looks like maybe we could make this interval a little bit longer. Let's go maybe 15 on this interval. I need to actually submit the changes. There we go. Maybe we'll make like a 15 interval on this side. It does look like they're coming from this side quite a bit. It could have something to do with that one way. I don't know. This is definitely not clogged up anymore, though. So that certainly helped this flow. And I think people are probably turning left here more often now to go this way to come around to work here, right? That might be what's happening. So let's just take a look. Like, we'll follow this car here, right? This car most likely is going to go and work like that. So they're going to head around this area. And we're most likely going to see them turn right here. And then they'll end up turning right that direction. Oh, or, or this lot. Okay, or this lot. That's fine. Yeah. Many different lots, right? And it, it doesn't matter. I, I'll, I'll make this very clear. It doesn't matter that they're stopping like this, okay? This doesn't matter at all. The reason why this doesn't matter, okay? Because you might think, well, they, if you let them... You know, like, if you had a better traffic system or whatever, they wouldn't stop. If there's no stoplights, then they'll get to work faster. Not necessarily. But here's the reason why it doesn't work or doesn't matter. The time that they're going to wait here is minimal compared to the time in which they're going to stand here and wait for a bus. And that bus is going to have to take them over where they need to go in a specific path. And then they have to walk a further distance potentially to get where they need to go. That's the way things work over in Charlovitsk. Some of these places that these guys work are like 350 meters away from the bus stop. And they also have to walk like 200 meters, 300 meters to get to that bus stop. All that time accumulation is taking time. This stoplight equals about that same amount of time. But the difference here, though, is that these guys get to leave right when they want to. And the time they spend traveling in their vehicle is still the same. As long as they don't spend more than four hours in their vehicle, they will get to their destination and work a full shift. On the plus side of that, too, since their vehicle has electronics in it, it has a radio, they are being impacted positively on their way to work with the radio station. So as the radio plays and they're in their, their vehicles and they're in their cars, uh, that's just going to start. Where's this at? We should have no problem putting that fire out. So we have all these cars and they're all owned already. That's great. Right? Very good. Okay. Now the real question I had, and I was hoping to see this, can cars drive out this way? Now, if I put a, uh, I wanted to put a parking lot out here people could potentially drive here but i think that's probably too far it looks like it's that's going to be substantially more than 2500 meters so we're going to have to be completely reliant on trains to get in here and work these jobs um we do have workers here and they're missing electrical components because there's no workers here so and they also need chemicals delivered here too i'm going to look at this later right that's it's the low priority over here um so i'll be looking at that later um right now my focus today is entirely Zernoski, so yeah probably just managing traffic <laughs> at some point but i i gotta see how it flows right we gotta slowly scale it up as we see how it flows right and it looks to me like you know maybe like maybe a third of the people go left here right so i could possibly make dedicated left turn segments that might work out okay if I start seeing a lot of people are turning left here, what I can do is give them a dedicated left turn segment. How does that work? If you want to do that, right? Well, this is cycle two because cycle two is when this is green. Okay. So right now they're going to be able to go, but they have to wait. So what we could do here is add a cycle right after this one. And in that cycle, only two is green. And we could say that maybe that one is, I don't know, like eight seconds long or something. Okay. What that does is it gives a dedicated turn period to where this road, for example, everyone who's queuing here gets to go, right? Not Maybe not everybody, if there's a long line of cars, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people get to go, okay? So see how these guys all went, but these guys didn't get a chance to go? Now this light's going to go red, but this one will stay green for them. So even more cars can go that way. And it looks like we're going to need that because it's starting to pile up in the neighborhood going places. So how about we try this? Let's have this one go back to 10. We'll have this one stay 20, and then this one's going to be 12. All right? That should allow me to get that, that segment. I need to submit the changes, don't I? There we go. 
that should allow me to clear this out and allow traffic to flow through here so these are the, some of the things i'm going to have to do in zernoski that i don't have to deal with over there and that is like trying to figure out where the traffic's going because they're going to choose their own routes and then just modifying the traffic system according to demand modify the traffic lights timings according to which direction is you know getting hit the hardest no big deal and now it's completely clear yeah and then this side will stop this side gets to keep going yep which is good because we want people to leave the neighborhood and get to work quicker so they have this little extra segment of time where they're able to go if i start seeing people here turning left a lot then i can alter the course there too and give them an, a dedicated turn time as well but if i end up going you know one-way streets here then that's going to change it too over here right this is now the slight little bit here is paved now so i could make this a light if i needed to and so maybe we check that out and see what that's all about if i made this a light i actually don't need to right now but let's say i decide to um not have this be a one-way anymore right then we're gonna have a lot of people coming this way again turning left into here right so yeah i think you get it i think you get it we're gonna have to just manage it a little bit differently than everywhere else and it's working right that's the reason for the water towers and stuff it's so i don't need people constantly working in the treatment planner plant i don't need people constantly working in the well i really don't need people constantly working in the sewage treatment either because this has an internal tank of 25 and then the sewage uh the septic tanks themselves have a 12 right so like this number of people isn't really going to accumulate that that fast also you might remember we were talking about trash earlier right is trash going to be a problem well so far we have no trash problems at all um we started bringing people in in march remember so it's now almost the end of may and if we take a look at it there's not a whole lot of trash build up here right because remember these little houses have the same internal stand for garbage right they have the same internal garbage storage as this building does the 12 people over there had the same amount of room to put their garbage as the near 600 people do over here which is why densely populated areas like this definitely need their own garbage bins and a regular collection of those garbage bins and they start to fill up and stuff right that's why we have that problem and it looks like i'm gonna need more garbage trucks to address that problem i'm gonna go ahead and turn that back on and uh we're gonna see if we can't get some more garbage trucks in here to manage this because it looks like most of my garbage trucks are gone most of my garbage trucks are gone they're out and out about doing things right now so i don't exactly know what they're doing they just got a lot to do right so yeah they just got a lot to do every garbage truck i have is out on the road right now perfect i love you love to see it you love to see that you're you got a good uh a good team of people out there ready to do the work right so we'll get this technical service office going they're already just walking here residentials are just walking here to, to do that it's 134 days uh in the meantime between videos what we're gonna do or what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna pave this road i think this road is kind of pointless right now right we can just pave that right now it's not really being used so we'll get that done and we'll get that maybe road crew two or three it doesn't really matter which one can go out and do that uh is there any other roads i want to pave i want to pave this i want to get this going because people do use this road as you can see so i, I want to start getting that done so we're going to have this job here uh i don't want that i just want this this side here so if i could get okay we're gonna have to do it this way then i don't want that part but we'll start with this little segment first okay we'll just get that that queued up um maybe the helicopters can help with no i thought maybe they could help with the internal part but that's fine we'll get that stuff going uh we're probably gonna need a little bit of labor in here we'll just get a little bit of labor added to that too we'll work our way out this way and connect to this road and then i want to start in figuring out where the next neighborhood is right um we don't need neighborhoods per se we could just literally place houses everywhere and we're gonna have like little segments all over the place where people live like i could just do this right now i could just say you know I, hey these little 31 worker flats kind of thing right we could just pop them anywhere this is a rural area they have their own cars to get around places right as long as they have heat 
And that's what this is for. It doesn't look like we've actually started building it yet. Uh, the road is done. And I think the pipe is done. The pipe is done. So why isn't this done? Why isn't this even started? Gravel and asphalt. Okay, so they brought gravel and asphalt here, but can the helicopters not do this? No. Okay, I mean, some people can can reach this, just not a lot. Fine. Um, we have the ability to make asphalt here now, right? Yeah, we do. And uh, we just need people to work here now, which it looks like we are getting that to happen. Yeah, there we go. So now I can have these offices. I can say, hey, you guys should probably get your asphalt from here instead. You know, that seems like a good idea, doesn't it? Sure does. Get your asphalt from there instead. And now you don't have to go to the border and buy it. We have our own production of asphalt over here now, too. The bitumen here, gravel to be brought in, almost full. Coal, not full, but it's okay. It's being managed by, distribu by train distribution, so I'm all right with that. And then, yeah, rep vehicle repair is going to be a thing in like maybe five years or so. We'll have to deal with that. I think this is working out. Of, I think this is working out fine. If a car has to wait for two lights, I don't think that's the end of the world. If they have to wait for two lights. That extra segment, that extra left turn segment, though, might be just a little bit long. So maybe I'll bring that down to like nine. See how that works. Make this segment just a little bit longer. Make that dedicated period just a little bit shorter. Until we find a good balance for that intersection, because that was always going to be a very difficult one to, uh, to do. And of, of course, I think they're going to... Don't, don't cars prioritize the ones with sidewalks? Like, like they up, they prioritize the most updated road, right? I think that's how that works. Having a hard time getting food. Can you can you walk to the store? Are you able to walk to the? Um, no, you're not able to walk there. So you'll need a car, of course. And I could maybe do a corner store. I think I, at one point I was going to do that. At one point I was going to do like a little corner food store. I mean, they have the bistro right here too. There's just no meat there. Why is there no meat there? Did I not tell you to bring meat there? Bistro. You're supposed to bring meat. Oh, you know what? You probably don't have that added as a source. I bet you don't. Yeah, you don't. You got to have that added as a source. You got to load meat from there. Yep. That's why. Now the refrigeration truck can go ahead and load meat from there. And bring it over to the bistro. So they can always eat here. No big deal. You know, got to wait for a little bit of service, but you know, whatever. Maybe I can give them another restaurant. Beach cafe bar. I want, I want the one with, with food though. Rest, like little restaurants. I don't want another bistro though. No. I just want a little store. Yeah, a little grocery store. Yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a little grocery store right here would be fine. So people can just walk over here and get it, right? And I could do it over here too. Um, oh, does that connect for real? Oh, if that parking lot wasn't there. Even with that parking lot there, it looks like it wants to. It would be kind of cool if I could make that happen. If I place you here, will that will that just connect? I, I don't think so. But it's worth checking. I, I didn't think so. It's kind of interesting how that... If I just made a smaller parking lot there, I could have done that. Huh. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. Yeah. You know, I think once this is empty I think I'll probably go ahead and uh, destroy it I think that sounds like a good idea could also get them to walk back by the behind the tracks here too and then do that but then I can't connect this is it does it really matter if I can connect that it's just it's just small things maybe I'll just put it here you know like it doesn't have to be there it just has to be like a little grocery store that people can go to. Like maybe just over here at the corner on this side. 
think I can I could be comfortable with that too. If you flip it around and put like a tiny warehouse here. Yeah, right here. I'm good with that. And then uh, this little gravel road. I think maybe. All right, you're gonna be difficult with me. There we go. A little gravel road there. Connect that up. You need my crews to do this. We'll bring in some Cernakova labor as well. Unless people walk to this. Maybe people will just walk to it. It's right here. And then we just want to get a little warehouse next to it as well. Just a little one. Like this. Right? And just connect like that. No big deal. I really, honestly, if I, I just, I probably should stop being stubborn and just do that. But having a little grocery store here is fine. And then this road goes this way, so you could still have things inside this little area too. Okay. So there we go. Um, traffic is flowing. Obviously, there are stops. There's stop lights. That's what they do. They stop traffic, but they're not stopped forever, and that's the main thing. Um, over here, it looks like these are equal, and I don't think they need to be. I think the cycle the the cycle that has five being green is this one i think we need this one to be a little bit longer i'm gonna go 15 on that so this gives these guys a little bit more time to turn also can we implement in this game at all please like devs can we make it to where they can they're allowed to turn right on red i mean turning right on red is a pretty basic thing you know if they're turning right they should be able to do that i'm just saying and i guess if i really want them to have to do that i should probably just implement one of these you know if you want to turn right then just do so all right look you get to turn right now i guess that's how i have to get around it i don't i don't particularly like that solution but if that's how I have to get around it, then I will. Because if they're coming this direction and they want to go that way, they shouldn't have to wait for the light. They should just keep going. Right? And uh, it's pretty much true for everywhere, too. Like, if these guys want to turn right later, I would hope they don't have to wait for this light to do so. Now, the left turn makes sense. Of course. Which is why there's this period of time where they're only there allowed to go. And that flushes the whole thing out and they get to keep going. So I like that. That's going to do it. All right. Grocery stores going in here, too. We're going to start delivering food there. Uh, you know, medium distribution office here has another five connections I can activate here, which is nice. It is in charge of keeping all the gas stations, uh, you know, working. I think I might end up putting a different distribution office on that eventually, but this one's already at 20 connections. There are some gas stations, though, that this already has access to, like there and... Uh, not this one. That one over there, which probably is... Oh, that's okay. So what I could do, I suppose, is I could basically take some of these connections away because some of these don't need to be there. So I think that gas station doesn't need to be on this list. No, that one's that one's good. It's, uh, it's this one. doesn't need to be on the list. And then uh, there's other gas stations somewhere too, like, uh, you know, basically the one that's that's being managed by the existing office doesn't need to be on this office too yeah so like this one i think is okay but that one can go right because it's already being taken care of by other offices so that frees up connections for other things so as i make more restaurants and like this is a restaurant panorama restaurant I never even connected that one i totally forgot about that one go like that and then just make sure that we're doing that too yeah so distribution office will spring to life go do the things Bring them food and meat because they just don't have any ingredients for cooking. And we'll even lower the price to get people out here, right? It's a good it's a good time. Good time to be living in Zernoski, I think. Okay? So when we come back for the next one, I'm going to start talking about, like, where people are going to live over here. Because remember, we, we still need a lot more people. There's not a whole lot of staff in the hospital. We're barely ever processing waste. The, the heat's not going to be going really well here. And it's actually a sewage tank's overflowing. That's peculiar. You don't have any waste coverage? Oh. I just, I guess I just spaced out on that because you were so close to this, I assumed. 
I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, I need another sewage tank through here too. Apparently. That's a thing. So I'll have to look at that and I'll place that and start building that too. Okay. So looks like, yeah, this is going to need it as well. And if there's a spot where I can get both of these buildings, probably cool. Otherwise I'll just pop it into a switch. No big deal. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to need a switch for it anyway. So, and this whole area here was going to need sewage anyway. So I suppose placing something like right here, like that facing it that direction towards the sewage processing and just, just mark that in like that. All right. That'll take care of these buildings. And then these ones over here, we'll just put another sewage tank, I guess, like right here or something. So it covers that building. That's fine. And then we need to get to face it that way because the sewage system, we can connect this one to the switch, which is right here. But I'm going to need a pump to do that unless I bring it that way first. So I might have to bring this downhill to this switch so it can be pumped uphill to this to this pump. Possible, but it's okay. It's these are things we can sort out, right? We're doing it now. Barely any people in here, barely any people at health risk. And uh, we have plenty of time until winter. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you guys, guys will give the video a like and subscribe and all that stuff if you haven't already. We're going to fix this whole can't turn right on red nonsense. If there's a way to do that, please, by all means, tell me because I don't actually know how that works. So it would be nice to know if I could actually make them be able to turn right on red. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.